All right. Crazy news day. Crazy news day. I got personal news. I got good news. I got bad news. I'm looking all on Twitter, X for you guys. And, you know, I see a lot of things happening. And, you know, I made a lot of phone calls today. I talked to a lot of people about things. And this is, you know, it's kind of crazy. You know, I never thought it would come to this. I never thought that this would be that. But sometimes you just got to come out with it and just be real with the people. You know, I've been talking in the background with the team on this stuff. And um, like I said, there's good news and there's bad news and there's stuff that we got to talk about. Stuff that I found out. Stuff that I learned. And we're going to get into this. Um, I don't know, man. This is this is this is a heavy, heavy day. Pause. This is a heavy day. But I guess we gotta do it, right? Sometimes you just gotta rip the band-aid off and be who you are and let it go. Right? This gotta happen. It's always peace and blessings. Welcome back to Xbox Frontline News with your boy, the king. And like I said, Coco, man, stop licking yourself on camera, man. She licking her hands. She ain't licking nothing else. Pause. Watch yourself. That's my baby. She don't do that. And Bella's right there, right next to her, just looking on. You know, these two partners in crime, Tango and Cash. Always around daddy. Now, it was a time where I thought I'd be able to give away this statue. If I got to 10K, I thought I was going to be at 10K, you know, fairly quickly. But, um, you know, and I was going to be able to give us away to members. This is the Honey Pot, Gentle Giant, Codename Whisper, a.k.a. Jenny Vicious. Um, and I was supposed to give that away to 10K when we got to 10K. I thought that would happen. And, um, that number didn't get here, you know. And pardon me if I ain't got any rings on today. It's just been one of those days where I'm just out of sorts and I'm just trying to find the proper words, uh, for what I'm about to say. Because this... This has been a build up. I like I said, I've been on phone calls all day today with some stuff and I'm just trying to find the proper words to put this in perspective to get a actual gauge on, you know, what everything is and how everything is. Lady, lady, come on, stop licking your hands. Nobody needs to hear that on camera. That's what you gotta hear with Frenchies all night long. You know, if you if you happen to have Frenchies, this is what they do. My Boston Terrier, nah. All she do is you do some fake little scratching thing. But um, today, man, you know, somebody told me if they put in the chat, you'll put me at 1.5 speed and you'll be much happier. I guess, obviously, I have long pauses or I'm, I'm too melodramatic or I'm looking for words. This ain't no script. A lot of you dudes that you see are writing a script and reading off a script and talking all this other stuff and that's them me personally i like to try to give you organic me real me free me um because i'm best at that i'm the best at that anything that you saw wasn't written any videos that you saw what i put up a hundred and some change videos i believe i don't know or 70 something video i don't know but i know each and every last one of them was me just talking to you dudes and maybe y'all resonated with that. Maybe that was something that y'all like. But a couple of weeks ago, this is before PAX, and I talked to the, the team. I got a letter. And this letter, and I told you it will be good news and bad news, right? <laughs> this one here, shorty bad behind. 
Um, it'll be good news and bad news. It it could be determined that is one way or another, you know, depending on what it is. You know, I um. You know, it's like you got to rip off the band-aid at some point in time and you just got to say it for what it is. Like everybody knew that I was running for president over at Sony, right? Y'all knew that stuff. And it was, it was a ha-ha joke and it was cool. And, you know, I was running around talking about hashtag no PlayStation 6. And remember when Major Nelson was, um, got like, he, he resigned. He, he left Microsoft, right? And everybody knows that I know Greeny and I I mess with Aaron Greenberg and we cool and stuff like that. And dudes know, you know, um, I'm cool with Phil Dominus, Maximus Aurelius Spencer, first of his name, and the Queen Sarah Bond, and, you know, Matt the Shooter Booty. I'm cool with these dudes. And I think they all follow me except for maybe Matt Booty. I don't know. Matt Booty probably follows me. But like a couple of weeks ago, uh, a marketing person over at Xbox started following me. And I followed them, you know, right back or whatever. And they always told me that, you know, they watch Iron Lord's podcast. And then when I did my own channel, I guess people were seeing if I would be something special, if I would be something different. And, and I'm, I'm going to tell you, my brand of humor is a little bit crash, and, and it rubs people the wrong way. You know, like Kong will die, hashtag no PlayStation 6. You know how we do it over here. Port begging ponies, all that stuff. You know, my humor kind of flies in the face of what Microsoft wants to do with their whole framework thing. And I think that last video with the framework thing kind of took it to the next level. But this is weeks before. Now, weeks before. Uh, I get this follow, then, you know, everything, you know, goes from there, and I get a letter. Then when I get this letter, it was an offer. It was an offer, but it was vague. The The offer was vague. The offer was like, yo, we, we have interest. They didn't say yo, you know, um, and it wasn't to whom it may concern. It said my name, and it went to my house. And I'm just like, what? And it was an offer for a position. I read it. I read it over a couple of times. I showed wifey the offer. And she was like, well, they didn't say any money. Right? And I'm like, yeah, they didn't say any money at all. So I said it could be some some fake thing right i said this is this is fraudery so i bring it up to the team and i talk to the team talk to iron lords right talk to lord cognito talk to everybody I even I even talk to you know my wife about the stuff and you know and they were like yo you know we understand that this has been like a dream for you so you got to, you know, see how far it goes. So this is before PAX, right? And then PAX comes up. And I said, you know, I'm not going to make a decision until PAX. But then I got um, another letter. And the letter was a little bit more robust with a little bit more defined stuff. And it had a range, a price range. And... I was like, oh, okay. Show wifey that letter. She was like, whoa. And then I showed it to the team. And the team was like, yo, that's a substantial offer there. Right? And I was just like, okay and I was like I'm I'm a I'm gonna go through the process so I go through the process the vetting process got on you know phone calls and stuff this is before PAX right because I want to go to PAX and I had the 50 interview uh goal set up and Lord Sovereign helped me 
And um, I said I, I wanted to have the growth. I, if I wanted to see the growth on the channel. If if I can make the growth on the channel happen, then I don't know. Maybe that might change my opinion. Right? So, because remember, like those first two months, three months, I got up to 7,000. I'm losing my brain. I'm thinking I'm going to be 16,000 by the end of March. I'm thinking 10. I'm thinking the statue going to be gone. I thought I would have gave away the the Wolverine statue with the 500 members cuz you know what we at 150 now like almost like 160 something like that and I'm like okay you know we giving away coins and I'm I'm like yo I'm giving value I'm talking about statues I'm doing all this put the emojis I put the badges I, I'm doing shorts. I'm doing all this. I said, I'm going to give it my full college try. Y'all didn't understand why I was giving it my full college try. And I gave it my full college try. And um, I got on the final conversation with them. And they were like, um, basically, either ish or get off the pot. Like, you know, we have a couple of candidates that we're looking at, but we really want you. You started the Hold the Line movement. You, We need to have a different direction. And we believe that if we bring you on, you are the face of the brand. You can change things around. I said, what, I'll be in meetings, planning, and stuff like that. What, what I have a voice. And... I'm never going to forget the conference call that I did get on and all the faces was there. Phil was there. Sarah Bond was there. Matt was there. Um, I think that was Sam that was there. And uh, Satya was there. And Satya said, you know, we, you're not a diversity hire you will have a voice and you have the pulse of the community and you know we're we're we have the we have the cash but you know the streets and i said um i agreed to it i i agreed i agreed to take the job Head of marketing at Microsoft, at, well, at Xbox, not at Microsoft. Head of marketing at Microsoft, executive, executive head of marketing at all Xbox. And I'm talking six figure. Your kid is a six figure dude now. Um,. But I told you there's good and there's bad. There's a reason why I didn't tell you to like, follow, and subscribe. Because um, this channel will be purchased solely in its entirety by Xbox. They said they liked everything about it. They wanted to purchase it. And um, I sold that for a pretty penny separate from my salary. I sold this channel. I told them I needed to do one last video before we box it up. And they're going to roll it into um, one of their Xbox uh, shows. So this is going to be an Xbox show, an official show with full production and all that other stuff. That's going to happen. But. The biggest loss besides that, you know, I won't be doing this show. The biggest loss is I can no longer do Iron Lords podcast Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with the guys. And I and I explained to them what was happening. So I think they're going to have Dirt Griggity uh, take over for me, my Ray Trace brother. Uh, I, I told them, you know, I would like Dirt to hold the banner for me because I I think Dirt is cool. And um, 
you know, I, I thought that, you know, it'd be IOP to the death of me. I got a tattooed on my chest. Shout out to Will Me Hood. You know, they did that. Um, but yeah, this is the last time. And I won't even get a chance to do ILP because we got to relocate. So I got enough money. You know, the house is paid off and I'm putting it up for sale. So I can get that bread back. And um, because, you know, from selling Frontline, I was able to do that. And... um. The boy moving to Seattle, so don't like Seattle, but I'll be there, and I'm super excited. I'm just, I won't be able to tweet like I was before my, it's going to be, I'm going to have a PR person that will be handling my tweet, so I won't be able to go back and forth with people. This, um, this is good and bad, but your boy is definitely... Gonna get himself a nice little boy toy, probably a Ferrari or something, something to push around while he out there, you know, to come to and from the office because it's mandatory that we have boots on the ground that we at the office. But um, for the last time, I'm gonna tell you, I can't even tell you like, follow, and subscribe because this ain't gonna be here. But I'm gonna grab that logo and I'm gonna throw it around that check. And this is the first thing I'm gonna make real. You know, yeah, y'all know this ain't real, but I'm going to tell you, man, I'm going to make Game Pass the best Game Pass as marketing, executive marketing director over at Xbox. So for the last time, this is the king signing out. Try to play the Game Pass. Soccer, <laughs> April Fools. This is my first time doing it on my channel. Ooh, we, I got you behind. Hashtag no PlayStation 6. You know how we do it over here. We're going to keep the boot on Kong neck this whole generation. It ain't going to stop, can't stop, won't stop. No diddy. Ha ha. I'm still going to be president and CEO over at SIE. Now that's for real. But April Fools got him.